So Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is not like the other Xenoblades because they fix the voice acting. It doesn't sound cringe anymore, no, they no. ruined it. Yes. Well, almost. <gasps> Guys, what do you think you're doing? So the premise is that you have these two warring countries, one that has cat girls, and the other with bird people. And the only similarity is that they are all... Uh, British. Oh, bollocks! Man, they sure have some weird sayings over there. Yes, uni's the bug. But then on the other hand, you have this one valley girl Senna just hanging out. Give me some of that sweet ether. And the two countries are led by these masked queens. Gee, I sure wonder who they could be. So you got Noah the main character with big hair, big chest, and a big flute. He plays the flute whenever someone dies. And his friends including Lance, the big meathead. Lance wants something a bit meatier. Yeah, that. And Uni, the most British character you can think of. Also, they got this friend who dies called the Joker or something. Oh, the Joker, baby. Then, on the other hand, you got Mio, the best cat girl ever created, because the developers, not only do they carry other Nintendo games and actually make them good, they discovered the most realistic way to make you care for a character. Yeah, give him cat ear physics! How much money was spent on making this? A hundred thousand! So the two groups are about to fight, but when suddenly they meet a neutral party led by... Hey, wait a minute, isn't that Van Damme from the second game? But... But ew, why is he so old? Behold, the ravages of age! So he gives us an Ouroboros stone, which allows us to put our differences aside and do a fusion dance to become... Whatever the heck this is, as they need to team up and fight the true enemy, Morbius. Yes, the Morbius, named after each letter of the alphabet, whose leader is called Zed, as he sits and watches the entire game in this theater. Change the channel, Marge. Get out! So yes, you must stop the rules of the world, breaking the fabric by defeating all the mobs, while also fleeing and fighting both countries, who send their strongest soldiers after you. Or you can just die to the wildlife. Oh god, no, not Mr. Krabs again! Oh god, not the T-Rex! Okay, now this is just silly. Sticker, sticker, sticker! Bully, bully! Oh. Okay then. Now as to the gameplay, they noticed how everyone was confused on what to do and to, given how bad the tutorials were there, so in this game, they will constantly put tutorials for the first 10 hours? <laughs> pretty much play whoever you want, because each character can swap classes that you get with heroes. Yes, throughout the game you can find many heroes with their own side quests that once on your team, you can swap your character to use their class. Wanna give Senna a gun? Well how about two? Wanna give Mio a big flag? Okay, sure. And yes, they can also join your party, meaning, yeah, you have so many team members to fight the enemies, making most fights quite one-sided. However, only the healers can revive allies, meaning if they die, you die. Well, then we should all be healers. <laughs> Uh, uh. And now the heroes add their own personality to the story and their side quests, so you'll definitely find one you like. Or despise with every fiber in your being. Woohoo! That was awesome! You mop it! And then you find one. <laughs> I've never heard of anyone entering the wolf's den just because they owe someone. Yeah. <laughs> or you see the other characters go nuts for them. Anyway, I do recommend trying to get most of them as they greatly improve the gameplay. Well, I mean, you're still gonna be standing still a lot, but you know what I mean. Or you can just be like me and give them the classes that you think looks cool. Or say funny lines like... Or... Now, to actually talk about the rest of the game, I need to show out of context spoilers. I mean, otherwise I have to be vague, like... Mio starts to cry because she can't do the dishes. No. Mio, please don't cry. Don't let your ears go fluffy. No. <laughs> so skip to this timestamp to avoid the spoilers, okay? Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I can't believe they added Joker into Morbius too. Yes, Joker, your friend, becomes a Morbius. Meaning the Morbius people can be people that you know. Like, for example, the Morbius N. They'll come. Uh, or M. If you can defeat us in combat. Uh. I'm seeing double here. Well, we all know who's the best VO. And then, as it turns out, the leader of your country is actually, hey, wait a minute, Melia is actually, uh, 
Uh. A robot. Oh, hi, Nia. Wait, Nia? She returns? Let's go! So yeah, the world is like Imagine of Xenoblade 1 and 2 fused together and created this timeline. So these two return from those games, which is such a bright ray of hope compared to these other new characters. You, you said that you were monitoring us earlier. I guess this is so residuals is from the cat ear Why physics. You, the you got something to say? Say it to my face. Oh my god, what we is with this terrible fake accent? I can't. Oh, you're perfect. And so the gang learn an important life lesson. Babies. Yes. This is a big plot point. Who wants to know how babies are made? What the heck is even happening? That's right. What about babies? You guys got any babies? And eventually Noah becomes so powerful, he gets... Wait, the... Xenoblade? The Xenoblade. The Xenoblade is real! And then the gang head to the theatre to fight Z, and it's honestly not the greatest final boss fight. Spin to win, woo. You define this, yet you rise. But then you win, Xenoblade 1 and 2 worlds split apart, meaning this world reset is like nothing ever happened, nothing ever explained, like how this thing no big desire of fighting spirit. gave Noah his weapon in the first place. And then they cut to Nia's room to show, is that Rex from Xenoblade 2? Now it's Chad and wait, what? Two, three wives, all with kids? How did you manage to do that? I'm a juice. Well, now I feel good being like the only person who liked Rex and two when everyone else was calling him a baby protagonist. And Nia, you actually got him! Which kind of ruins the impact of the best cutscene in two. But that also means Mio is your daughter? So that's why I wanted to protect her. And I don't know, Melia staring at Shulk's sword, lol, who cares? So that was Zeta Lake Chronicles 3. Not as good as 2, or X in my opinion, but so much better than 1 and all the DLC. Mostly because there's so much unvoiced dialogue. But Nintendo games never liked having that right. The music was amazing, like seriously, that chain attack theme. Okay, like, do you have to keep playing? Every single time! Thank goodness, it's so catchy. And the voice acting is so good, standouts being Noah and Mio, because every time Mio spoke, I just felt like, oh my god, hi Mio. I want us to someday live somewhere with fresh air and trees, and keep chickens or something. Oh. Uh, and on that note, I want to give a big special cheesy thanks to all my patrons, including Commendimus Crime, Cox or Sin, John Portergill, Lord Takio, Master Pro, and Worker B, helping support whatever I do. You can also join them with the link down below, or if you want emotes to use in the comments, I also have a join button. Now, after all that, you want to know who my favorite character is? After 70 hours of playtime, it was easily, I mean, it's so obvious. It's Mwamba! Man, I couldn't believe in the final few moments he Mwamba'd all over Morbius! Also, it's Mio, okay? Arthur's got a big mouth. Trojan, Ramses, Magnum, Sheik! 